Hello everyone, here is our latest video update on Typhoon MySack on this Tuesday morning as we continue to watch the system move towards the state of Yap. Now MySack has rapidly intensified and exploded over the past 24 hours, becoming now a Category 4 Typhoon based on the latest G Joint Typhoon Warning Center's analysis. And they are even forecasting the system to attain a peak intensity of Category 5 Super Typhoon before it moves very near the state of Yap later tonight. MySAC was last located approximately 380 kilometers uh, east-northeast of the island of Yap, uh, which is home to more than 11,000 people, uh, or about 520 kilometers southwest of Guam. Maximum sustained winds, according to the Japan Meteorological Agency's latest analysis, is at 175 km per hour, with gusts of up to 250 km per hour. Meanwhile, the Joint Typhoon Warning Center has uh, <coughs> significantly higher wind estimates, um, putting MISAC with sustained winds of up to 230 km per hour, with gusts reaching as high as 280 kilometers per hour so big disparity between the two agencies but uh, nevertheless still very strong uh, wind estimates on their respective scales <clears throat> now my sack is currently moving westward at 25 kilometers per hour and uh, as you can see in this latest visible satellite image you can see that perfectly cloud free eye very symmetrical as well surrounded by deep and strong convective activity I can also see that good radial out and you can appreciate that much better when you loop it using the infrared satellite image see that I again taking a very perfect uh, circular shape there again those deep convective activity surrounding that eye now you can also see in this satellite loop that the island of Yap right there is still uh, somewhat far from the uh, core of the maximum sustained winds and also from the uh, rain showers however we will start seeing those rain bands move in uh, across Yap over the next uh, three to six hours and also as far north as Guam. I uh, could even see some squalls of uh, rain showers uh, this afternoon and into the evening hours as uh, MISAC moves west. In fact, if you look at the radar image from Guam, courtesy of the National Weather Service, you can see those bands of light to moderate and even pockets of heavy rain moving in from the southeast to the northwest, again, all due to the circulation uh, induced by Typhoon Maisak. We expect those rain showers to uh, hit or miss the island of Guam and nearby islands over the next 12 hours uh, before gradually subsiding as Maisak moves to the west. And speaking of the National Weather Service, they have now issued a typhoon warning for Yap. Uh, not only the state, not only the island, but the entire state of Yap. Uh, we also have some inhabited atolls here, Ulithi and uh, Fais. Sorry if I'm uh, pronouncing that uh, incorrectly, but um, the track that the National Weather Service is taking is uh, taking the center of MISAC very near those two atolls that I've just mentioned. And the center is uh, forecast to pass just north of Yap. The uh, core of strongest winds, we're talking about uh, category 5 intensity winds here are forecast to stay away from Yap. However, uh, the island uh, is still uh, expected to at least see some typhoon force gusts beginning tonight and into early tomorrow morning. A storm surge of up to 18 to as high as 23 feet is also expected uh, uh, over the next 12 to 24 hours. So residents in this area are advised to really again take precautions um, uh, due to the impending uh, typhoon again expected to become a category 5 before it reaches its closest point of approach into the state of Yap. Now after MISAC moves across uh, the uh, state of Yap uh, tonight and into early tomorrow morning uh, we're, we're starting to see more of a convergence among the computer models as to where the system will actually end up um, later in the week uh, you can see the computer models here, some taking it more to the north and some are forecasting a more west-northwest early trajectory. However, when you look at the uh, consensus, uh, the, the tracks are beginning to converge on a, uh, on a possible landfall in the Philippines, particularly in the island of Luzon. So it looks like the chances of, of a direct impact from MISAC uh, across the Philippines uh, are, are increasing. Uh, especially on the latest information that we're receiving the com uh, from the computer models that we're 
those that we're using. Another aspect to the forecast is the intensity of MISAC as it moves into the Philippines later in the week. Some of the computer models are forecasting a pretty rapid weakening as it moves into the west uh, as it moves into the Philippine Sea while some are keeping MISAC as a category uh, one maybe even a category two typhoon before it moves into Luzon so uh, the the track we're starting to hone in on a possible Luzon landfall however the intensity is still definitely up in the air um, right now we are advising residents especially along the eastern coast of Luzon to really uh, pay close attention to the progress of this type. As far as the official tracks go, beginning with the uh, Japan Meteorological Agency forecasting a uh, west northwesterly track, they have actually shifted their track more to the north, if you've noticed from our previous update uh, about yesterday. Uh, Japan J JMA was forecasting a more Visayas landfall, whereas this latest forecast from them is now pointing to a uh, central, maybe even northern Luzon landfall. So uh, definitely a change in the track that we were starting to see. Uh, again, as, as we were starting to see more convergence among the computer models. One thing to note here as well is that JMA is expecting my site to begin weakening probably by tomorrow once it gets past the state of Yap. As again, as it moves into the Philippine Sea, we're starting, we're expecting to see that wind shear to really increase and also that uh, the dry air from the north will start uh, impacting uh, MISAC and uh, induce some weakening as it moves towards the Philippines. And finally we have the Joint Typhoon Warning Center's forecast and a really close track compared to the JMA uh, forecasting a west-northwesterly trajectory uh, pointing to a possible uh, Aurora or uh, Isabela province land. Uh, by early Sunday morning. You can also see JTWC expecting MISAC to uh, maintain its typhoon intensity. It will weaken throughout its, uh, throughout its lifetime, but it's expected to, re to, to retain that strong Category 1 intensity as it plows into northern Luzon. So, uh, just to keep in mind, especially as that weekend is uh, very important for many Filipinos as it is uh, the Holy Week, or particularly Easter uh, Sunday. Uh, again, as we've said uh, earlier in our update, residents, especially across eastern Luzon, should really play, pay close attention as to the progress of MISAC. For now, though, all eyes are on the residents, more than 11,000, as we've said, uh, in the island of Yap, as uh, MISAC is forecast to move near that region later this evening, possibly as a Category 5 super typhoon. But that is the update for today. Again, thank you for watching, and as always, keep uh, uh, updated on the progress of this uh, of this uh, dangerous typhoon on our website at westernpacificweather.com. Uh, stay safe, everyone. Bye bye.